I have handpicked these five Davos CEOs for a reason. Because I believe that they are leaders and will get this and will get the job done. As some of you know, I've issued a challenge to five Davos CEOs and I am delighted to share more of the details today. I look forward to working with these five Davos CEOs on getting the job done. To join me on the journey of getting 30 to 40 percent women at Davos by 2015. As some of you know, my videos have been top videos for World Economic Forum on Twitter three years in a row. They are CEO Paul Pullman of Unilever, CEO Sir Martin Sorrell of WPP Group, CEO Michael Corbett of Citigroup, CEO Mutar Kent of Coca-Cola, and CEO Michael Dell of Dell. I'm really excited to announce this, and I want to welcome the CEOs who I have handpicked. I'd also like to invite their chief human resources officers to contact me so that we can set up appointments with each of the CEOs as well as the chief human resources officers here in Naples, Florida, so that we can meet together and get our plan together for how we're going to achieve our goal. The Waldorf Astoria has a nice hotel. Uh, we can meet there. And I would like to set an agenda for how we're going to appoint feminine leaders to your leadership team. I have the experience to do this because I have worked as a global executive search consultant for 15 years. I'm now an executive coach. And back in 1988, when I attended the Kellogg School of Business at Northwestern, which at the time was ranked the number one business school in the world, there were 40% women in my class. So to say that there are not enough women for a senior leadership team here in 2013 just doesn't add up to me. I'm looking for these five CEOs to lead the way by appointing 30% plus women to their senior leadership team this year and bringing two of five female delegates to Davos in 2014 to show the other Davos men how it's done. Two of these CEOs are actually being honored by the Catalyst Awards coming up. Paul Pullman of Unilever and Mutar Kent of Coca-Cola. But when I went on their websites, while I did see a nice representation of women on their boards of directors, I was very surprised to see not a high percentage of women on their direct report leadership teams. If you can't find them in your company's Davos CEOs, I can with your Chief Human Resources Officer. We can conduct a global search. We can look at your competitors. We can do it however you want it. You're the one who's going to call the shots. But I'm going to pick the ladies. And then they will set the record for having 40% women at Davos. I know that the yin and yang of leadership is what will create success in the 21st century. And as I told Davos in 2011, investing in the feminine leadership style is the largest economic opportunity worldwide. As some of you know, I have done a lot of searches for innovators, chief marketing officers, chief strategy officers, business development, general managers, presidents, CEOs, and it's important that we really get on top of this topic. To say that women have to be like men is rather silly because women will never be like men. Most women don't even aspire to be like men. Most women aspire to be who they are. And as a feminine leader myself, I know that I must help other women get on the senior leadership teams. And I'm going to work quickly because as an innovator, I do things a little creatively. But one of my first mentors was actually the creator of one of the most successful television programs ever, Entertainment Tonight. Al Massini, and one thing I learned from Al was uh, sometimes you need creativity to shake things up a little bit. And Davos CEOs, with your permission, I'd like to even record a portion of our meeting here in Naples so that we can share it with the world and we can show the world how we're going to lead the way on this issue. It'll give you an opportunity to promote women and your products and services to women. It will give us all an opportunity to collaborate and to share how we're going to lead the way in terms of women. 
I want Paul Pullman, Martin Sorrell, Michael Dow, Mutar Kent, and Michael Corbett to lead the way and show the other Davos men how it's done. There is no question that we must go down this path. Right now, at World Economic Forum meetings, we only have 17% women. It was actually 18% last year, down to 17% this year. There's no progress. I plan to create progress. Davos CEOs and Human Resources Officers, you can find me on the web at ParthenonAdvisors.com. I named my company after the Parthenon in Greece because it's dedicated to Athena, the goddess of wisdom and knowledge. She was also the helper of heroes and heroines. And I look forward to next steps. There'll be a lot more announcements coming up. We've got International Women's Day coming up on March 8th. I'm really excited about that. As some of you know, I declared International Women's Year last year in 2012. And I'm really excited to say that leadership can look like this. So Davos CEOs, Davos Woman is ready to roll. I'll be back in touch very soon. Many thanks.